I think we are going on well with our diagrams in field work. To remind you, there are three. So far, we have seen two. We have seen a sketch map, how it is drawn, what is required of a sketch map, what you, should for, you shouldn't forget, and also we have seen the panorama. The third item, the third diagram that is drawn is called the a relief or a line transect. Line transect or sometimes known as relief relief section. How do I draw a line transect? In order to draw a line transect, the, 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 uh, as we have been doing other diagrams, have a heading. Have a heading or a title. Then after the heading or a title, you draw your line transect or relief section. Then put there similarly at least three three physical futures. If not relief futures. Depending on what the examiner is expecting out of you. Whether they want physical futures or they want relief futures. Then three land use. Three land use activities. Three land use activities. The land use activities are very many, even if the physical futures are many, but make sure at least a correct cross section should have the above. Let me maybe draw also for you one. Let me draw for you one cross section as a sample. You can also try yours at your own time. One, as we said, you have a heading. The question may be requiring you to draw a line, line transept or a relief section. So you say a line transept. Of Butiawa Fish Landing Site from Butiawa Escapement. to Lake Albert. Then showing showing one land use physical futures And land use activities. A line transect of the fish landing site from Butiaba escarpment to the lake, Albert, showing physical futures and land use activities. The physical futures should be, I mean, those two things you should show where you are beginning from and where you are ending. We are beginning from the other escarpment, we are ending at the, at the lake, at the lake. So you draw something like that. Yes, this side. We are starting from Mutiawa Escarpment
going to Lake Albert. So that one should be shown from Java escarpment to Lake Albert. Then Start drawing, you draw, like that. So since this one is down under the earth's surface, this is land, you shed it. Failure to shed it, then the cross-section is wrong. Here is our water body. Use an arrow to show that this is Lake Albert. Then this one. is the escarpment. Java escarpment. Then, what do I have along this cross section? First and foremost, there is a road here. Put an arrow and a pointer Say, use a local name, it's called Utiaba Road. Yes, I have oh, still in a flat land here, adjust my arrow. We have oh, the barracks. Called the one table barracks. We have one table barracks. Then from one table barracks, of course, all these places are made up of some vegetation. There, we have uh, a school, which I was in the school. But I was in the school. Then around here, we have the extent of the landing site. This is close to the water body here. Extent of the landing site. Extent of the landing site. We have oh, a market nearby here, which I will put up here. The other market. What else? Some palm trees here. Fish factory. Some vegetation.
like that. So this represents our line transect. It shows the general nature of the landscape. Sometimes it is a relief section. Sometimes we call it a relief section of uh, the area. So mainly there are the three major there are the three major uh, diagrams that uh, are drawn in field work. The information on these are almost the same. Information on these are almost the same. But how we present them is different because for the sketch map we show how it is presented. For the line transect we show how it is presented. Then similarly the anaroma. So you begin marking our, yourself know what you have written. There are so many other things that you have not included. Uh, there are some rocks up here. Uh, there are some, as I have sh shown you, dry vegetation somewhere. Uh, the extent of the lake, the Calbert is there. The extent of the landing site, palm trees. Some settlements which I have not indicated, maybe. Don't forget, Shading, don't forget where you have started from. You have started from the, the first point of starting is the Abtiago escarpment. The last point is Lake, Lake Albert. So this one will carry the Comax like it is in a sketch map. And you should at least be knowing both of the practice drawing them. Not only do we have to draw that one on Mutiawa all the time, all the time? But you can include the other, other areas of your interest where you have carried out field work. Not every time with the sketch, the cross section will be slanting like this. No. Some could be relatively flat depending on the area where you have gone. But when you actually carry out field work, kind of Mutiawa fish landing site, you will notice that the landscape is. A uh, sharp like this, enter into a flat land, then you go to a low, you go to a low land, and uh, that's how it should be represented. The heading should be in capital letters, even when you put it in small letters, but underline it if it is in small letters. Drawing should be strictly with a pencil. Don't draw using ink, no, not even shading. The shading should not also be in a pencil, but rather it should be, I mean shading should not be in a, any ink, but rather it should be in a pencil. So those are some of the, the, the key things to note on a cross section. Anything that you have not included there, we shall be adjusting as we finish, when we finish carrying out field work, of course, as we are going to see in the post field work, you have to draw diagrams, you have to polish sketches and diagrams. So, in any case, where you, there is an error or something that has missed, we usually include it when we are doing our last stage, when we are doing our last stage of field work. So, that one I think is clearly understood. Unless there is a question on that, then we need to go to another, to go to another thing. 